Yeah, welcome back to the Afia Morning Show, broadcasting live from Enugu. Of course, um, we are live on DSTV254, Go TV17, and on socials, it's Afia TV Official. My name is Favor Ogunyaluba, and I have me... Yeah, OG, watch I wanted to say something. <laughs> oh, sorry, to sorry. Just rushed. Oh, okay, sorry. I have with me one no. of the most handsome men on the Wha screen. Voila. <laughs> <laughs> OG, watch you, cool, G-son. How are you doing this morning? I'm, I'm great. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine. Looking very fine. Yeah, Looking thank very you. Very fresh and dapper. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm well, trying to confuse you this morning. Well, it's great, but um, on a sad note, uh, the incident that happened last um, yesterday, by the way, um, we lost Junior Pope, you know, our very own actor and all that Swag energy Nation. and all that Swag Nation. And um, it's crazy. But this calls for something. Exactly. To start teaching Nigerians CPR. Because like... that's the only survival mechanism at that point in time, the bottom out of that um, sea, right, to, you know, Perform that on him while they are heading to the hospital to give him oxygen. I had so many stories, you know, uh, saying I'd have to go back to the, the river to appease and all that. Time is going and he's leaving, right? Because but you know, we he first can hardly breathe at that point. That was uh, the water must have filled up his lungs, right? Yeah. All he needed was oxygen. The CPR and get him to the hospital to put oxygen on him. That's all. At that point in time, well, since he we was first still heard breathing. that he was fine. We first said that he had died. Then later we heard that he was he yeah, had come so back to life. Stories, and then now, now again, I think yesterday night we heard that he had, he had, um, he had dead was already confirmed. It's actually really sad because not just like what we saw, there were a lot of people there. So is it that nobody out like can out of all the perform can perform CPR? CPR? Everybody, there's always pictures, and there was pictures, there was videos, there was live there updates was, for like there was no one of, first. One of the um, Nollywood uh, producers or, or so, he was saying something that people there are more of content creators. Yes, and it's it's not even just him. It's something we see every time in every accident scene. Oh, the um, people there is there's, a, there's an accident. Instead of people to okay go and help, look for ways they can they're take videos. Everybody's recording. If they're not recording, they're trying to rob. So sad. We lost him. Honestly, we had, our condolences are just with the family right now because even the vid last video he made, he was talking about how, oh, he's the father of three, he's he has to raise his children. The guy she plays, she, she, she waste, he's stepping on the, on the, on the, uh, on, on the boat or speeding <laughs> up and all that, that he should calm down her back. That, you know, like I, I think he was seeing he was seeing what, what was, was going to happen. To happen. It's actually really, really sad. And and I um, according to reports, he's not the only person yeah, there, that's there, lost yeah. his life. There are other people that are there. And other, you know, um, um, people are always on the background, you know, trying to make sure that the movie, the production team, you know, I think three of them. Then um, TC Virus, one of the actors too, I, 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 so I heard that he's he survived, but we still need to confirm um, that um, story, though, by the way. But, well, I, I think, goes I think out it's also great times you get to reach out to people out there and just get like a full um, exclusive on what actually happened. This is really, really sad. But since we started the show on a sad note, let us oh. <laughs> let us go and hope that you know we get the program gets lighter. And for the next 120 minutes, this is our rundown. We'll be a review of stories that made it to the front pages of our Nigerian newspapers. And further on the program, we'll be giving insights on the details of Ungozi rehabilitation of the Enugu International Conference Center. Akia TV was there yesterday and returned with interesting insights. Beyond that, you can rest assured that we have engaging conversations on the show today and beginning with the review with Barrister Chidi Ujwatumba. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Welcome. Welcome. Good morning. It's always a pleasure to have you. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. What was the meaning of Jisong you name? Got one. God's name is Wachuku. Okay, G, okay, God's name. Yeah. Okay, 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 I've yeah, gotten it now. Oh, you were thinking about it before? I was thinking, I was just trying to see whether I could get a Connected. better clarification of what it actually means. So what, what came to mind first when you heard Huh? What came to mind first? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was a tabula rasa. I, was, yeah. I needed yeah. to be prompted so that I yeah. can think okay. along that line. It was Preston. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so a little bit draw back to what he said. Yeah. Um, can you... Preliminary resuscitation is a reactionary approach. Okay. The proactive approach would have been life jacket and training on how to swim. Yeah, yeah. Um, apparently, because I, when I was watching the, the the clips, the video he made, you no, know, and posted before. No life jacket. Yeah, there was no, no life jacket. jacket. No, no, no life jacket. You're life complaining jacket. that your life is at risk. You cannot swim. You don't have a life jacket. It doesn't make sense. I think we should look into 
movie production in Nigeria? What about life insurance? What about things that you have to put in place? We call them prop and sets in order to ensure not just the safety of the actors, but the safety of the entire crew. So I think government really have to revisit movie making, insurance, and all the rest of them. What are you bringing into sets? Where and where are we traveling to? What are the safety measures that really, really need to be put in place? If I was, if I were to be in his shoes or members of that family, I would sue the company that was actually on directing that movie because I don't think they did what ought to have been done. And then personally, the person in, 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 in question here ought to have assessed himself, ought to have known what he could do, his capabilities of, you know, getting through that kind of, uh, you know, very dangerous water route to his destination. Can I swim? Do I have a life jacket? There, there are safety measures. One, what am I traveling with? How safety is what I'm traveling with? Okay, if anything happens, do I have a life jacket? Now, if anything happens, can I swim? How, how far can I swim? And then if I am swimming and I can swim and I've swum for a long time, are there what we call um, people rescue team yeah. who can come and rescue exactly. me? These are safety measures that needs to be put in place before you. It, does, it, will, it, will, it will not even cost you much. It won't cost you much. Can we calculate the amount they will make from that video mm. and the life yes, worth honestly. of this person? I feel like what we do yes. in Nigeria is we try to find, make it, do it the cheapest way possible. Yes. Like try to cut costs as much as we as can. As much because as possible. The money you're going to get from it, you could get local divers. You people that saw the video. That guy two. was driving 80 on a 540 mile zone in high sea. No life jacket. You can't swim. He was even pleading with the driver to take it. I, I, that I he's a father of three. the guy doing peace. Yeah. The guy was at his back doing peace. I was speeding. No, 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 no. We, we should look into no, 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 no life jacket, yeah, no that's swimming that's experience, no rescue team. That's carelessness. That was that's too much. That's just too much. I don't, I don't, I don't want to. I don't like. My heart goes out. My heart goes out. out to the family and the entire, you know, Nigerian. It's a very big, very big loss. A very, very big loss. We're still recovering from. Um, how many people have we lost in Nollywood? Ibu, the Ibu, other time, Ibu, and the other time, the person is seen on, 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 you know, just. Consistently, Consistently. Okay. and now in, we in have another months. person. In two months, we've lost like three now. It's very sad, very, very sad. But let's begin with the matrix. <laughs> <laughs> At Idu Fitiri, Tinubu governor, Tinubu governors urge Nigerians to continue to show resilience, patriotism. How lower diesel price from my refinery can help fight inflation. Al Haji Ali Kodangote. Black Wednesday, tragedies overshadow Idu Fitiri celebration. Lagos monarch, ex Kogi ex governor's son, junior pope, die as Nigerians celebrate Idi Fitri. Nema loses hope of finding two passengers who fell off bus into Lagos Lagoon alive. Pandemonium as NSCDC officers allegedly shoot woman at Eid ground in Zamfara. Salary areas, FG considers half pay for Sanu Nasu members. For obtain time, customs FX rate for import duties changes falls to 1,238 naira per dollar. Ex appeal court Justice Amal Bergo dies a few days before 71st birthday. Despite harsh criticism, Tinubu felicitates Pa Ayo Adibanjo at 96. Tinubu, Sonwolu, Yusuf, others felicitate foremost industrialist Dangote at 67. Moving on to daily chores, and the header here reads CBN sacks 50 more staff, 417 gone in 20 days. Staff accused management of illegality, double standard, external vendors um, affected, and just above that, cracks widen in PDP as North Central insist on chairmanship. Controversy over prize war on London route. Israel bombs Gaza on Salah Day despite U.S. rebuke. And just below the header right there, Salah, seek knowledge, pray for leaders, sought and tells Muslims. Passengers Missing as bus plunges into Lagos Lagoon. Worshipper gone down at Zanva Eid ground. And the last one right here, customs imports duty rate falls to 1,238 naira to a dollar. Moving over to Vanguard. Tariff hike, 20 hour supplies for Bandi customers under threat. As power allocation hovers at 3,236 megawatts. PH Disco apologizes for shortfall. Kaduna Disco sets up response teams. No transparency, fairness in billing. Firms will pay for the services they don't enjoy. Ross CI. Experts expect improvements in supply. Okwama community shirt, Sean's military panel, Okoloba in attendance. 
PDP NEC meeting, governor's orders renew battle for parties so. Fair cut, EPIS chair Oyema slams foreign airlines over conspiracy. Ide Futur, our security improving, FG declares. Transfer of pension money out of Nigeria escalates. My impeachment won't stand, Shaibu, sorry. Alleged defamation, better edu threatens to sue BBC. No cause for alarm on next Olubadon, Oluba Makinde. And World Drum warns Nigeria over Olympic preparations. And moving on to Nigerian Tribune. CBN intensifies Naira defense. Foreign reserve depletes by $595 million in one month. And just to both that Nigerian um, ship owners miss out as vessels leave products from $19.5 billion Dangote refinery. Ten years after 91, Chibo girls' parents write in Ibu's wife. Otun Balogun not qualified to determine medical fitness of Ola Kunli, says Ladoja. Shiv's nomination meeting till tomorrow. Marking the cautions over Ulubadon's too. And just um, below the header, Soshir Osolo, sorry. Osolo of Os Isolo dies after eight prayers. Sound Ulumon's ex Kogi governor Idris sounds dies. After prayers, Oye Banji appoints fresh 115 aides four months after appointing 162. Third mainland bridge bus accident throws two persons into lagoon. Ondo Amotekun arrests 14 suspected kidnappers, 31 other criminals. And this one reads Chinubu salutes Adebanjo as associates. Honor him at 96. He is a great leader, chosen the most difficult way to lead, says Cleric. And the last one right here alleged defamation. Better you do threatens to sue BBC $50 million. Wow. Moving over to the punch. <laughs> Ide Fetru, defend Nigeria support leaders, Tinubu. Buari urge citizens. Let's protect Nigeria's integrity. Tinubu appeals to Nigerians. Support for leaders, a vote for better tomorrow, says Buhari. Electricity tariff, FG plans 1.5 trillion naira savings, 2.5 million meter installations. Fresh borrowings may push Nigerians' debt to 111 trillion naira. Cash crunch hits CCB state offices. Asset verification face hurdles. NABDAC orders recall of toxic cough syrup. Ondo Amoteko nabs 14 suspected kidnappers, 31 others. Olubadon designates health. Ladoja fault Otumbalogun. Makinde says no crisis. And moving on to these Nigeria Kwama killings. The military board of inquiry open sitting in Wari urges stakeholders to give accurate account of the incident. And just above that, Air Peace Foreign Airlines lowering Lagos London first to edge us out. And um, just um, the main header right here, by the way. Outrage in Zamfara as NSCDC kills woman during aid. Prayer. Mob said NSCDC vehicle on fire as police arrest two officials in connection with killing. And uh, this one reads, don't return to disobedience after Ramadan. Cleric um, tax Muslims. Tinubu, Bami, Daily, WK, others seek resilience despite challenges. And the last one right here, Lagos bus accident plunges two persons into Lagoon. On The Guardian, victims await... Answers pro panel report, victims await 1.7 billion naira compensation from 25 states three years after. Refuse to move on, 91 Chibon girls' parents tell Tinubu's wife seek intervention. At Salah, Tinubu, Buari, others seek resilience, support, peace, unity. EFCC's fresh charge links immediately to Lagos firms. Forex crisis, poor infrastructure, depressed healthcare sector earnings. Tragic Salah, Monarch dies, reckless driver flings two passengers into Lagos Lagoon. Malabu case, ESCC dismisses compromise allegation, considers appeal. Price of goods not reducing amid Naira appreciation. Accord party tells federal government. Pilgrims palliative between personal religious rights and misplaced state priority. Moving on to the nation and header here reads, Our diesel price cuts driving down inflation, says Dangote. Entrepreneurs should work with the government. A building economy on recovery path. And um, this one reads, uh, 
Day tragedies. Lagos monarch S. Kogi governor's son died after prayer to plunge into lagoon in third mainland um, bridge crash. Free die in Lagos Ibadan highway accident. And this one reads, marking the cautions against disunity over Olubadon stew. And military begins probe of Okwama killings in Wari. And um, just below that is the last one. Amutukun arrests 45 suspects for alleged kidnapping others in Ondo. And finally, on Daily Times, Tinubu to Nigerians, remain patriotic, love, defend Nigeria's integrity, says renewed hope agenda being diligently implemented. Cardinal's huge debts, PDP calls for proof of ex-governor El Rufai. Okwa Makilin's military board of inquiry commences sitting in worry. Salah Sultan urges Muslims to seek knowledge, pray for leaders. Kogi bandits attack, we've arrested some suspects. Idil Futru, ACF expresses worry over deteriorating standard of living. And there will be no room for criminal-minded travelers, NISC. G. There is quite a lot, and a it's whole so lot. Scattered. It's very like I don't even know, you know, <laughs> the the one we should start with because there is from CBN, there is from the government, there is a um, lot of accidents, there yes, is celebration. It's, 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 it's a very we, scattered we, we, headline. I, I this think morning. we should look at the, this safety issue because it's scattered all over the daily. Yes. The accident in Todd Mainland Bridge. Too flung into the. Too the fl land, and we're still home. talking about safety. We're, we're still talking about a rescue team. That was the last thing we were talking about. I want to, I don't, I, I want to really understand how the accident must have happened. Yes. Because the, this is a commercial bus, mm -hmm. and then two people from the bus flung into it's the It's possible, it depends on the impact. speed. Impact. Yeah. Speed, impact. Oh my goodness. Speed and impact. There's a, there's a way, um, a, 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 when you're on speed and you hit, that's the reason why um, safety is very important, yes. right? If you're not on belt and there's impact, and stuff, can, because you can just fly, fly out of the window. Yes, if you're on speed and you have a it happens in ordinary impact, express. Right? Yeah, you see and impact you people flying from two because different you're on, channels. You're on zero mark into the, at yeah. that point in time. Yes, anything that is happening is all depends on what the vehicle is not about you because you're empty, right? So anything can just happen if any impact you're flying. That's the reason why if there's is a there's a crash, people are just inside the, the vehicle are just flying here and there because it's zero mass. There's mm -hmm. nothing. Oh my goodness. If you yeah. watch an accident in a slow motion and see how people move, maybe in a luxurious bus, you will not want to speed any longer. If you watch it and see how the vehicle cuts people into pieces for a fraction of a percentage second, just immediately the impact occurs, you will not speed anymore. And you will encourage people not to speed. Speed is very, very dangerous. And look at the other report. Uh, an officer that probably ran into people who were praying during the, 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 the field trip. And the, the car was uh, set ablaze. Also, it's all about safety. You know, it's, it's all about safety. And a whole lot of accidents are happening. And you keep on wondering, uh, road safety and all the rest of them, what are they doing? Are they really doing their job at the end of the day? Are they really making sure that vehicles that are on the road are actually road worthy? Or are they just stretching forth their hand and collecting money and not doing exactly what they are supposed to do? Look at the amount of life we have lost just within this uh, Salah holiday. It's very it, painful. It's, it's very, very the painful. woman in Zamfara that um, NSCDC officers allegedly shoot at Eid ground. So imagine, you know, you're there, you know, it's the end of Ramadan, you're praying, you're celebrating with, you know, other um, worshippers, and then you just lose your life. Just lose your, just like that. Just like that. Like, the things that we are really hearing, and then even um, the Lagos um, monarch, the ex-governor yeah. of Kogi's uh -huh. son too, that's lost. Like, so many, so many, mishaps. so many, so many mishaps. mishaps. And if you want to talk about um, the... The two people, because this whole flying thing is new to me. I do not know that people used to fly. I know when we used to give testimony and they say, oh, we the car some assaulted seven times. I used to think maybe they're just... When the car is assaulted, just being, you're, you're not on seat belt. You'll be flying you'll be around. You'll be flying around, around inside that. You'll be hitting your head. Every and then or that. you sustain internal bleeding. So then flying into the lagoon, what could have been like the first you, you saw it's, I think it's a bus. It's like, it's a, it's, yes. this is a yellow bus, it's okay? Yes. And you know that the, the door is not strong. Sometimes, even when why that bus is on it transit, the doors closed. can just, you know, fall off. So that could be... The, and once the impact happens, you cannot really tell the position of the vehicle. 
So such things have happened in third millennium, and the entire car itself plunged into the third millennium. The entire vehicle plunged deep into the third millennium. Not to talk of people flying off, and you know they could not be found. So it's a really, oh. it's a very, it's a very oh, sad oh story. God, like, please let's let's try our possible best to be safe. Like, do the one, and then it, it's very. When we say, oh, Speed try your limits. best to be, try Speed your best limits. to be safe. What could these commuters have done differently? Speed limits. The one thing I know that goes a long way to regulate accidents. In the top list, go around the world is speed limits. Yeah. After speed speed limits, malfunctioning of the vehicle. Don't do at the port, speed eh? limit first. Speed limits. If your brake is not functioning very well and you are not on high speed, it's easier to control the vehicle than when you are speeding. speeding yeah. When you are speeding, you'll be looking for where to ram or what to hit. So I think they should um, look at that. Another story I think we should look into is the military opening up a panel for Okwama oh, yeah. and all the rest of the people in that community who are involved to come and give their own independent report. I think it's very, very important. Yes, the military, in the recent past... Yeah, I was going to ask you because yes. um, we've been viewing this whole Okwama incident from the lens of the military and their accounts, right? They're not getting the accounts of the people. So, to balance out the story, you know, have to do all this investigation, talk about the people, talk about literally what happened. Why the military are talking about what happened? Because we're seeing everything from the lens of the military right now. So that's why we were on the show the other day. Me and um, Nap, we call that on our, our fellow um, media practitioners who probably might be interested in you know getting the real accounts of the people. So many of them are still in the bushes and all that. Yes. All right. So to get their real accounts, then the accounts of the military, then balance out. There must be a reason. There's a yin and a yang. There must be a reason why what happened, the altercation, the counter, and all that stuff. Why? Because, okay, the, the two communities are, are fighting. Then the, the military got in, involved and all that. And then the clean of the military. So there must be connections, connect the dots. Definitely. The because it's easy. It, it's, not some, it's not rocket science. Because this thing transpired and there are living human beings who can come out and give oral testimony of what actually transpired. So, except if someone somewhere is trying to, you know, sweep something under the rug. Now, I don't think that the panel is just constituted of only military mm -hmm. men. Yeah. They should also, people from civil society organizations, they should be lawyers, you understand? They should be traditional rulers. It should be a panel that will look at the whole story holistically and appreciate what happened and then record it dispassionately without trying to favor any person or the other in the whole world this is how to get to the root of cases you don't just because you have gun, guns and power and you submerge other people and it is this effort to submerge certain truths eh, that makes the devil to rear its ugly head you understand what i'm talking about when the chips are down they say that when you push a man to the wall and there is no other place that he can go other than to turn around and then start facing you when you subject people to certain level, you will get violence at the end of the day. And this is a very welcome development. And I would love the military to always um, adopt this uh, approach in anywhere there is a friction, in anywhere there is a skirmish between a community and the military. A panel of inquiry, okay, a, an inclusive panel of inquiry should be set out. And at the end of the day, whether you are a, a, a civilian or a military person or any governmental official, if you have found one thing, if you have found one thing, you should face the strong arm of the law. Deterrence goes a long way to help us to correct the mentality of so many people who think that they are in a particular position to call it short. So it's, it's a welcome development. And I think those who are supposed to participate should participate. Like you rightly pointed out, People are still in the bush, and I am calling on the media, okay? I am calling out on the media. I've seen such thing happen elsewhere, where media people dress very well, go there in, inside into the hinterland with their microphone and everything, interview these people, get real gist and real stories but out, really and air talk? it. That's yes, and air it, and air it. Let me tell you, there's a way you can create a blindfolded studio that you know you are talking to a real person, but you're not seeing actually the real person. There's a way you can blind. There are so many ways to get that real story coming out. We call it inside story, okay? Coming out from people, from every nook and cranny. So that even as the panel is sitting, okay, they will not be working with only, like Jason rightly pointed out, only with 
information that they got from the military. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because at the end of the day, you will base every decision upon the highest information that is available. You will base decisions upon the highest information that is available. So if people who were affected, if people who have um, a kind of account of the of the issues and matters that led to this onslaught, if they can come out and then give a good account of what happened, I think it will give those investigating the issue, you know, an ambience to I really appreciate the whole um, the whole issue. So um, daily trust, the major headline here is CBN sacks fifty more staff. So we this is a time where people are hungry. The economy, in as much as the dollar is um, falling, like you come along, dollar is falling, naira is coming up again, mm -hmm. naira is <laughs> rising, and then pe things are still expensive. Yes. Funny that's... enough, things are even more expensive. Like things are still rising. Like, the, just the, like the, the dollar is falling, like naira is the, rising, and the, the commodities in the market is still the same. It's still the same. So even things are still even increasing. It's not even changing at all. Yes. You will not even know that okay, dollar is even falling. So yes. and then people say, oh, economics is in play. Blah 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 why? blah. Do you know why? Because the CBN, Minister of Finance, all the sectors that are responsible, partially or in one way, yes, they are doing things that can appreciate the naira. But they are chasing shadows. There are things that they are doing. They think you can appreciate Naira, you know, in the internet or and in the media. You cannot. You have to go down to the grassroots, okay, and empower people and look at import and export and look at establishment of industry and look at exchanging rates, okay, and look at there are certain internal things you really have to look into, okay. Growth is. A, 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 a gradual trajectory process is not something that happens overnight. Boom. Okay. Even the dollar going down and the naira uh, going up. Okay. It cannot affect the price of food immediately. It will not affect the price of food immediately. And the time it takes for it to affect the price of food will tell you whether we are having a real economy or a fake economy, or whether all these things are being made up. You understand? For face lift, because once you are reporting that dollar is going down and naira is going up over a reasonable period of time, okay, that very um, impact you recorded should reflect, okay, on the price of food that comes on the table at the end of the day. If it does not, then there's a whole world of difference, okay, between the the, the economy on the media. And the economy on the street of Nigeria. We, think, should, we should create a balance. I think that's what you because there's a, a another headline from um, Accord Party telling federal governments this particular thing that the price of things are not coming down. So I think that's the answer that they yes. seek. But this particular one on CBN is they sacked more than 50, 50 people in. So now 117 have been gone in 20 days. Um, the rider here: staff accused management of illegally double standard and external vendors affected. Now. Are you going? Are you saying that this is one of the many measures? Because I saw I saw the nickname of CBN governor on Twitter, and I can't even say it. <laughs> I saw it. I was like, what? I can't even say it. But well, would you say that them losing twenty days, one hundred and seventeen people now have been displaced? Now, whether or not there are good workers or bad workers, are you saying that this is one of the many um, ways that the CBN governor is trying to get this? Um, how will I put it? The economy back on track. I, I, losing one hundred and seventeen. I, I don't think so. I'm even calling on Senate to call um, CBN um, for probing. Okay, Senate should look into what is exact. The Senate Committee on Finance and Everything should look into what is happening in CBN. Yes, I know that there's a whole lot of rot in CBN over a period of time. Okay, but when uh, allegations comes up, okay, when cases are in court, I think we should uh, look at individuals who are directly involved, sacking. 172 or 170 staff, it will not improve Nigerian economy. Nigerian economy will not be improved. You are adding more population to the poverty level. You are adding more population to those who are out of work. What um, other alternative are you creating for them? Before this occurs, okay, that's what we call terms of terms of employment. Why why are you doing this? Okay, can you come out and tell Nigerians why can, what will you use to justify the sacking? Of this numerous staff, what would you use to justify them? Are all of them corrupt? Are all of them corrupt at the same time? You, must, you must give a reason. You must justify this action. You must. It must be justified. Reasons, credible, verifiable, and transparent reasons must be given why why you are relieving these Nigerians of their duty. Are they retiring? What did they do? Is CBM broke? 
can they pay them? What really happened? Are you saying that a, an internal restructuring? CBN is building. Uh, CBN is building. Uh, is building branches all over states, which will tell you that they even need more, more, more staff or more people to be employed. Okay, so why are you relieving these uh, people of their duty? Did they commit any offense? Are they facing prosecution or something? There should be reasonable explanation why this is happening. That's my 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 humble take on that. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's um get to um Nigerian Tribune, right? And this writer does uh they're talking about the alleged defamation. Um. Better you do threatens to sue BBC fifty million dollars. But I want to relate this to a writer of uh, um um yesterday, um the Daily Times and even the Nigerian Tribune too talking about. Kanu assemb assembles 15 witnesses for Gandu J. Wife, six others trial. Raymond's fixed for um, April 17th. And uh, now, let's talk about, thank God, Diana Tony. Let's talk about immunity, you know, in government. And when you must have left the office and whatever you did comes biting, right? What are the lessons to be learned from this? And these leaders always. You know, feeling that, oh, I have immunity, I can do whatever I have to do and just get away with it. We all saw what happened, the, 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 the record of Ganduje pocketing the bribery, the dollar, uh, you know, no, 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 uh, they, they gave to him and all that stuff. And it, nothing could actually happen at that point because like, yes. he has immunity. But now it came biting. Uh, this leader literally see what's happening because they always feel their... They, they are gods yeah. and nothing. They are untouchable. They yes. are above the law because they are in the government. They have immunity. Then it keeps come calling when they've left the office, office. right? So let's just juxtapose this. Okay, it's, and, uh, and there's an adage that says that power corrupts, okay? And absolute power corrupts absolutely. So the immunity clause is inserted in the constitution to enable a governor to face the governance, and the business of governance, yeah. without being distracted with uh, litigations and all that does not mean that you cannot sue a state government. You can sue a state government on issues, but you cannot take a direct action, okay, against the sitting governor of a state, okay. That's why the immunity clause is um, inserted in the constitution. But like you rightly pointed out, it's it's tenuous, okay. It does not last forever. It starts from the day you are sworn in as the governor, and it terminates on the day yeah, hand you over. hand over to your you know, predecessor and all the rest of them. Now, what happens when you are no longer in the office? If, there, if there's an offense or an allegation hanging on your head, what happens? It depends. In most cases, no, 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 none of these governors can say that they have not done anything. If you start reviewing what they do in office, almost all the 36 governors should face litigation. Immediately they are leaving office. But depending on how you manage your own problem let me tell you what is happening is, is politics okay there's there's a governor you have in 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 a kind of state and you find out that this issue will not even come up again so in as much as i'm looking at it from a political point of view i will use the opportunity also what, to what address you, to you the you issue about, of um when you're talking about the upper echelons right now the big enchilada in nigerian politics because apc is still in government yes apc is still in government so, and one would say oh ganduje could actually go scot-free because apc is still in government Yes, APC is still in government, but when an undeniable case has been established, okay, against a governor who is no longer in office, I don't see anything that will stop either ICPC or EFCC from wading in, depending on those who are sponsoring the petition. Because in Nigeria, petitions are sponsored, okay? When you see those who brought the petition, when you see the political weight behind those who brought the petition, okay? you will delve into it. Promises could be made behind back doors, you understand, for pressure to be put, you know, in certain level to see what the federal government can do. Sometimes you can ask, but let me ask you this question. In a sane society, okay, in a democratic dispensation, what should stop EFCC, Sumoto, on their own, without any special petition, going after those that they perceive that have committed um, fraud or allegation of fraud why they are in office. EFCC does not need any petition to go after Yahoo boys. Once they perceive that you are a Yahoo guy, 
they will start ransacking you. They will start searching you. They will start going through your um, gadgets, laptop, yeah. your gadgets, and all the rest, rest of them. And if they find any email or anything that shows okay, that you are into yeah. fraud, they will take you to court. And that, the law gives them right to prosecute you based on only that evidence. That evidence. If they see anything impersonation, you trying to convince someone that you are who you are not, you are in. And now, you saw what Ganduje did. It was on National Daily, okay? Using his hand, the governor of a state, using his hand to pocket dollar, and the whole world is seeing it. I mean, doesn't it, what, what are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? What, what, what lesson are we uh, leaving out for a younger generation that are coming? How can you now come and tell me that the younger politicians can get into office tomorrow and they will be, you know, they will focus to get things done without looking for a way to do what their, you know, their, their fathers have actually done. So it's not, what, what, what Gang Duje did did not set a good example for Nigerian politics. I don't care the political party where you're coming from, whether you are PDP or whether you are APC or Labour Party, corruption is, is there should be zero corruption tolerance in the polity and until we maintain that until we ensure that that has been entrenched okay in the annals of nigerian politics we shall never get anywhere let me tell you something good ideas come okay oh god let me let me say you this end from the time of civilization down to our own period okay men and women of noble virtue have tried to free our society from bigotry Corruption, narrow-mindedness, though few ever live to see their effort bear fruit because human understanding wrapping so slowly. But that does not mean that their efforts were in vain. Their efforts were not in vain. So despite the fact that there are so much people, there are so many people who are tolerating this corruption and they are also not doing anything to ensure that it is totally eradicated from our, from our you know, um, political space, the fact remains very very constant that corruption is bad it kills government okay and until we get it right there is no political economic policy that will make nigerian economy blossom okay we can continue to be giant of africa in media okay but we have to look at this parameter how are ordinary nigerians faring on the streets of lagos in the streets of kano and in the streets of enugu that's what actually shows that the economy is good until we fight corruption squarely okay and eradicate it to a minimal level there is no vibrant political policy even if you like bring the best brains all over the world and let them man all the economic and management department in nigeria as long as there is a corruption at this rate and level nigeria will never breed nigeria will never breed because if you if you look at it you understand on a scale of one to ten it is actually the cancer okay the cancer that eats into the marrows of our political survival that's what kills us and until we get it right we shall never get anywhere that's you, my humble take on that you see um this integration living um living is full course I, I wanted to leave its focus, like I rightly pointed out, depending on the political power that is be, behind it. Mm. Okay, cause could be made behind locked doors and charge sheets could be redrafted. Am I talking to somebody? Mm. Oh, let me tell you something. You know how many times they redrafted Amy Phillips' uh, charge sheet? They kept on redrafting it because they are trying to get something. Okay, Ghana must go, could still move from one office to the other, mm. and that charge could be brought back to the office of the attorney general or whoever drafted it, and they can redraft it. Okay, so that's why I'm saying when such things happen, let us have an independent investigation or investigators that can look into the matter and bring out the gist, the real gist of what is happening without it being, you know politically colored or favored what did he do okay let him face the full arm of the law and if he has of course you would whether we see it on the tv this is where the law comes in now or whether we do not see it on the tv the people who are prosecuting him will still have to come okay because you could say it's my dollar the dollar i was pocket in the court of law a man behind the dock can reach out for any form of defense okay to skip or rather to run, to rescue himself from the strong arm of the law. Okay, how can we prove that Dan, uh, Dan Duje actually committed a crime? That video, can we look at it all over again? What if he comes out and say that the video was was doctored? That 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 that's not what it was. Yes, that the video was doctored. That that's not actually him. Now, what 
ample evidence do we have to nail him, okay? There's a whole lot of scenario into the... I, I would love it to play out in the court of law because it will also serve as a deterrent to some sitting governors, okay? Whatever you are doing, like rightly pointed out, whatever you are doing, no matter how much you want to enjoy your immunity, just be rest assured that it will expire as a result of time. And days will come when your immunity will no longer protect you. Everything you have done will be blown up in the limelight and you may likely face litigation. Yeah. Hopefully, I, I, I hope that, you know, we get whatever the, is the truth of this case, you know, comes to light. Um, I, I guess one thing that Jason just said now, I'm not like, mm, okay, he <laughs> said it's depending on the people. Um, is this a question he asked? He said APC is still in office, the upper echelons and es escalada. Yes. Big enchiladas. Big enchiladas ahead. So <laughs> that's the grammar that he said. And then you said that it's depending on the people that are sponsoring the petition. Yeah. And it's just really funny how there's so much, even in politics, there's two politics. Yeah, even in APC, some factions can fall off with the actual guys who are in power, mm. though they are still within the party. They might make a demand and their demand may not be met, okay? They might want a particular thing and that particular thing. So there are factions within factions. There are also Kakus and mm. also inner Kakus. So that's the way it works. Yeah. In real time, that's the way it works. Yeah. Well, hopefully, this you know, gets to light. There's one um, quote I want to say, but I'll say it off air. We're going on a very quick break. When we return, we're going to take a quick trip around the region.